Welcome to Data Mines Academy. Today, I will show you a very practical solution how to connect Power BI with a file stored in Microsoft Teams. So that whenever business users update that file in Teams, the change automatically reflects in Power BI. This saves time and avoids dependency on developers. There are these problems when business users often want to update data files and developers don't want to re-upload files again and again. So for this, the best solution is to store a file in Teams, connect once it with Power BI and updates flow automatically. How to connect a file which is available on Teams with Power BI? So first of all, let's move on to Teams. So this is the Teams. And here in Channels, I have created a Teams group called Sales Data. And in this sales group, what we will do is we will upload a file and then we will connect that file to Power BI. So here, when you come to this, you have three different sections, posts, files and notes. And in files, we have the option to upload any file which you want. So here I will upload a file. I will click on upload, click on files. And let's say I will upload April month sales file. So here we have got the April month sales file over here. Now what I want, I want to connect this with Power BI. So in order to connect, we have an option called Web in Power BI. So we will be using that option to connect this Excel file. Now, in order to get the link of this file, what we have to do is you have to click on these three dots. And here, when you will scroll down, you have the option of details. Just click on it. And scroll to the bottom. Here, you will get the file path. So you have to copy this file path. Now, after copying, let's now move on to Power BI. Now here, you have to click on Get Data. Click on More. And here, we have an option called Web. We can also search that option. Here's the option of Web. Click on Connect. Now here, for the URL, we have to paste the file path link which we copied recently. I will just paste it and click on OK. Now here our file will get loaded. I just have to click on this sheet one. And here we can see our file. I will first click on transform data. And we can see that our file has been loaded. Now let's click on close and apply. Let's go on to data view and we can see our file. Now, as this file is hosted on Teams, whenever any business user or any person who has been given the access of that file will update it, the changes will automatically get reflected in Power BI app after it gets refreshed. So let's test that. Now currently, here we are having total 10 rows. We can also see over here, we are having 10 rows. Now currently, what is happening is, we are having 10 records over here. Now what I will do, I will go to that Teams file and I will delete some of the records and let's see what happens after refreshing it. So let's go to Teams now. Now I will just open this file. Now what I will do is, I will delete some bottom records. So I will delete these records. And we don't have to click on save or something because it automatically gets saved. Now, again, we will move to our Power BI. And here, I will refresh this file. I will click on these three dots of the table. Click on Refresh Data. Now, we can see that the bottom records has been deleted. Out. So, in this way, all the changes which have been made in the file on Teams will be reflected over here. And that's how you can let business users update a file in Teams and automatically reflect those changes in Power BI reports. This method saves time, improves collaboration, and ensures your reports are always up to date. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Data Minds Academy for more Power BI tutorials.